32 right now. Big changes are coming to USA Gymnastics. This is after a report detailed the shortcomings by the organization to combat abuse. The USA Gymnastics Board decided unanimously Tuesday to adopt all of the recommendations laid out in that report. Nina Criscolo has been following this story for months and has the latest details what we know this morning. Well, this was all prompted by investigations into a USA Gymnastics coach here in Indianapolis back in 2015 and Dr. Larry Nasser, who is currently facing charges in Michigan and federal court. Just on Friday, a Michigan judge determined Nasser would go to trial on charges alleging he sexually assaulted six young gymnasts while they sought treatment for injuries. The same day, the judge dropped some charges against Nasser, reducing the number of alleged victims from seven to six. But as that case continues, USA Gymnastics hired former federal prosecutor Deborah Daniels to review the organization's policies and practices. In a 70-page report released this week, Daniels wrote that, quote, in order to protect the young athletes in its charge, USA Gymnastics needs to undergo a complete cultural change, end quote. The organization will now require members to report any suspected sexual abuse. Other changes include the implementation of an abuse prevention training plan for members, parents, and athletes. Also, a formal monitoring mo plan will be created for athlete housing at the National Team Training Center, where some alleged victims say abuse by Nasser took place. On Tuesday, the chairman of the USA Gymnastics Board of Directors said, USA Gymnastics is very sorry that anyone has been harmed during his or her gymnastics career, and we offer our deepest regrets to any athlete who suffered abuse or mistreatment while participating in the sport. Success in competition is important, but not at the expense of an athlete's health and safety. We are determined to do better. You can read Deborah Daniels' full report right now on our website. Just click on this story on wishtv.com. All right, Nina, thank you for that update. We know you've been following this for quite a while. It is 6.30.